Okay, so for the fourth strategy, we are going to take a paper-based activity and we are gonna augment it to make it more useful. We're gonna put that technology to work for us. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take that same quiz and we're gonna put it in Google Forms so that it can be self-checking. So what I'm gonna do is just click New and More and Google Forms. Okay, so I'm going to name it 4.2a quiz. So what I'm going to do is actually put the paper in here. So I'm going to click on add image. Now I got this image from cam scanner and I had it save as a JPEG instead of a PDF because to insert something into a Google form, you can't do the PDF. You have to do um, an image picture. So I'm gonna to go to my drive and scan down till I find it. So here's the first page, okay? And now I'm gonna repeat that so I can get the second page of the quiz as well. So scroll down, there it is. Okay, so now I have both pages of the quiz in here. And now I just have to make my questions. So I am going to click on the first question and I'm just gonna name it number one they can always go back up here and see what it is. Okay, and then it is multiple choice. So I'm gonna click on option one and type in A. And then notice it has a pop-up where it's gonna assume you want B, C, and D as well. So you can just click add all. Now I do wanna make this self-checking and right now there's not a place for an answer key. So what you're gonna have to do is set it up to be um, a quiz. So right here in the settings, you can click on that and then you click quizzes and then just make it a quiz. And there are some other options you can look at too, but they're not necessary. Okay, so now that we have it as a quiz, notice down here it says answer key. So then you would just click which one you believe to be the right answer. So number one is done. Now let's do number two. I'm gonna type number two and option, so repeat that again. So let's say for number two, the answer is B. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the plus sign to add question three. And I'm gonna make my options again. Just click add all, make your answer key. Let's say this one is D. And then you would just continue that way till you have all 10 questions done. So you need to share the actual quiz that you want the students to take not this version where you're creating the quiz. So if you click this I, you can preview and see what it is that the students will be taking. This is the link that you want to share with them. So I'm just gonna click this link right here and copied it. And then when I go into Google Classroom, I can create a new assignment and let's just call it quiz 4.2a. And instead of going to Google Drive, I can just insert that link right here. I'm gonna paste it and click add link. Okay, and now I, whenever I click assign, it will go into the student's Google Classroom and they'll be able to take that quiz. And then when you want to see the results, all you have to do is come back into the original quiz where you were creating it and click on the responses tab. And then all of your students' responses will be here. So. If I were taking this quiz, you submit. Okay, so I took it and now notice that there is a response here. So this is one way where you can take a paper activity to the next level by helping you to be more efficient with your time and not have to grade it um, and also save paper. So the next strategy I'm gonna show you is gonna be another one where it's self-checking for students, but this one will be a little bit easier for the students to use and a little more engaging as well. So stay tuned.